moving now to East Africa. The United States is officially recognizing the government in Somalia, opening formal bilateral diplomatic relations for the first time since militants shot down two U.S. military helicopters in Mogadishu in 1993. Assistant Secretary of State for Africa, Johnny Carson, says visiting Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton are exchanging diplomatic notes today to confirm the new relationship. Carlson says the new Somali government has made significant progress in stabilizing the country and defeating al-Shabaab Islamic militants. The United States will continue to partner with the Somali people as they rebuild their country and as they normalize their relations with the region. And I look forward to the day when the United States can reestablish a more permanent U.S. diplomatic presence in downtown Mogadishu to better support the new Somali government's efforts to provide security, humanitarian assistance, and basic services to the Somali people. A new parliament sworn in six months ago elected Mr. Mohamud as president, hoping to end eight years of ineffective and unstable transition government. African Union and Somali forces have pushed the militants out of a number of major towns. But al-Shabaab still controls a large part of the country as it tries in turn, it, 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 it turn, as it tries to turn Somalia into a strictly Islamic state. Joining us now to discuss the Somalia's new relationship with the United States is Harun Maruf of VOA Somali Service. Harun, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So some would say that uh, relations between the Somali, the Somali, Somalia, at least, and the U.S. had improved significantly, especially even under the interim government of uh, former, pres former interim president Sheikh Sharif Sheikh Ahmed. Even uh, Johnny Carson went to Mogadishu. So what does this new recognition mean exactly? It means a diplomatic elevation for the Somali government. It's a big achievement for them diplomatically to get the recognition of the most high-profile country in the world, the United States. That means other countries will most likely follow. And when I say other countries, I mean the other Western countries to give the Somali government the recognition and possibly open their embassies in Mogadishu. Mm -hmm. The president of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, spoke to VOA Somali Service exclusively, mm -hmm. and he said that the United States embassy in Mogadishu will be reopened in March this year. Oh, in March this year. And they also plan to, to appoint immediately their ambassador to the United States. So that's a big achievement that's for them. Big. It's very likely that other countries will follow. Also in May, the United Kingdom is planning another major conference on Somalia. Like so they did that, that, last that, year. That, that, like they did last year. So, so far we had uh, representatives, embassies from the Muslim countries, mm -hmm. Turkey, Sudan, Libya, and Mogadishu. But there has been no uh, diplomatic representation in Somalia by the major Western countries. So this is a significant step. And what is the U.S. in turn expecting from Somalia? I think they recognize that significant achievement has been made by the government. First, the ending of the transitional period mm -hmm. uh, was a significant step. Also, the fight against al-Shabaab is gathering momentum. There has been major setbacks uh, against al-Shabaab. Uh, al mm -hmm. uh, the government and the African Union tools have achieved a lot, although al-Shabaab, as you said, still controls a large part of the country. But the United States government has to reward the achievement that has been made by Somalia. And but the there's African so many Union. complications. Just when you start hearing just these recent reports about Al Shabaab and what it did to Dennis Alex, the French intelligence agent's agent, in terms of fighting terrorism, is there a large expectation on Somalia with this recognition? I think they expected to, uh, for the, they expect Somali government to, to continue and speed up this fight against Al Shabaab. Does that mean more money for Somalia? Because it's already getting a lot of money, humanitarian aid and there will, uh, all sorts of um, there will assistance. There certainly be more money, more bilateral relations, mm -hmm. more bilateral cooperation. They don't have to go through NGOs in order to help the Somali government anymore. Somali government, with this recognition, will be able to enter bilateral agreements and cooperation with big governments like the United States and the Western government. Now, very interesting today, as I was looking through some of the reports, there is a big picture, I think it was an article that was done by Reuters, of uh, President Mohamud with uh, Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir. We all know that the U.S., of course, um, it's been, it's been very uh, influential, at least, and very insistent in his pushing for his indictment by the ICC. Does that pose a problem? 
I don't think it poses. This is a question for African Union. You know, this indictment against Al Bashir, uh, the African Union have got a different opinion. But the U.S. It. also has its own opinion. That that's probably true. But the Somali government and the Sudan governments have got very very close relations. Mm -hmm. Somali government is printing large amount of money in Sudan. Do you see any kind of manipulation maybe that the U.S. might have in terms of, you know, how Somalia can navigate with friends that are U.S.'s enemies? I, I don't think that will cause a major diplomatic embarrassment to either countries mm -hmm. because there are other countries that are more influential when it comes to Sudan, like Egypt, like Ethiopia, mm -hmm. like uh, Kenya. So. I don't think the Somali government, the, the United States government will pressure the Somali government to do anything with regard to the Sudan. It's not a, a, an urgent issue, mm -hmm. I think, for, Somal for the United States government. You interviewed President Mahmoud, um, or the service did at least. Correct. Tell us, uh, well, uh, we've run out of time. We'll talk again. I apologize, but I missed the cue. Well, that's Harun Marouf of VOA Somali Service joining us today on In Focus.